And by beautiful old Otis elevator time. I think we have an awesome motor to listen to on this. You do have your bumpers. So you said this is from the 60s? I'm thinking so. Um, got an old phone in there. Mm-hmm. You got a two? We have two, yeah, you can go ahead. Got your bumper. What is, is this service or something? No. Just curiosity? I'm an elevator photographer. Oh, wow. Wow. That neat? Yeah. It's fast. Plastic levels. And we lock it open for a minute and, and that's we'll show that's you basically the... pickup mode. Right. I think then you have to hold in the button. No, uh, if you're going down, um, right now we're on hold. We've stopped the elevator here. So turn that. You turn that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the key to the um, motor room and I can show you that. Okay. Here's the gun. And we've changed these panels. These were solid panels at one point, only with the small holes in it. And we mm -hmm. added these squares to it. Uh, we plasma cut the uh, panels mm -hmm. so it would have more light in this. <coughs> Let me go upstairs and get that key and I'll be right down and we'll oh. show you the uh, motor room. <coughs> I guess they leave it on hold so turn the key. There we go. Beautiful. Whew. Here's your Otis logo. And you got the bumper. Pretty cool. Turn to run, stop to run. Yes. Okay. All right. Now this room got high voltage in here. Yeah. Because it's it's an older machine. Wow. <laughs> Oop, let me get out of your way. This, this is this dry thing. power hydraulic, right? Yes. Oh wow. The hydraulic goes through the wall there. Just be careful. Stay to the edge. Yeah, this is live. Yeah. That see, looks like your door drop key. It is. There's your dry power unit. Maybe center up so we can hear that. Yeah, sure. Probably going to see this spark a little bit. That's uh, just opening the door. Yep. Send it up. Yep. I think these are the relays right here. Yes, they are. And if this was a traction elevator, you would have had a big gear winch spinning. Right. Got a lot of those down there. Danger sign. Oh, wow. 100 feet a minute. Oh, wow. Excuse us, Jenny. There we go. There we go. That's pretty neat. This is big. Hunter, do you know how to work the outer door? Like if I sent it up and we opened the entrance so you could see underneath the elevator? Are you familiar with that? Got your no, bumper. No. It's pretty cool. Danger high voltage. Here are the relays. Yeah. Now I think I'll send her up. Sure. That's what we do. Oh, got the bumper. I'll take a picture shortly after. Sure. This is going to be a first for me, and I think the jack's right under it. It's kind of a deep hole I've seen down in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Elevators nowadays run on microprocessors, most of them, and those break right. down a lot. This is made to last. Well, I've been with the firm since 2000, and we get it serviced every six months. Mm -hmm. And it's 
still works? <laughs> yep. Now, yep. this goes in and drops down and does something, I don't know exactly what it does. But it goes in. And it's supposed and to... it stops. No, it's supposed to open... Uh, allows me to open the door. It does something to a lever. And I forget how it works. It's Yeah, you're taller than I am. It's supposed to go all the way in and turn. It turns one way or the other, and then you can kind of push the door. Well, that's not going in, I don't know why. There you go. I'm going to turn it back. There we go. We gotta take it out. <laughs> no, you gotta turn it and I'm gonna get a screwdriver and see if I can pull it. There uh, we go. You gotta fill for it. Yeah, did you? Yeah, I figured out how it works. Now. Oh, okay. I think that's the elevator pit. Yeah, well, if you get the door open, now we have a little water down there, but. Um, we don't have a flashlight around, do we? Can you have your phone on there? Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a light in there somewhere because when I saw in there, it... it this? Yeah, what? Be, no, no, that switch? Careful. This switch Let here? See. Let me look. I think that yeah. might be it. That's a pit switch. There we there go. go. I knew there was a light in there. You got your stops there. That's your RAM. There's your traveling cable. Probably have your selector tape in there somewhere. Got your guide rails. This is really neat. What's that down there? That's a sump pump. Uh, we get water in, into the base. Uh, so what would happen if you were to pull the pit switch right now? I've never done it and I, I wouldn't try to do it because I'm not familiar with it enough to know. Yeah. This is interesting. So just flip the switch, I guess. The white switch? Yeah, I will. Did you see up above where the bottom of the... Where's the uh, your light? Oh, yeah, I got that. Low light. Yeah. Oops, sorry, Greg. Oh, yeah. Bottom of the elevator. Mm-hmm. And neat. Now I get that. Yes, you just push. It'll, yeah, go. it'll actually go. Thank you. Oh, it's really neat. And then we'll call it back down. And... Yes, that'll be it. I think you keep it on run stop. Yeah. It's on run. It'll stay on run. Run mode? Yeah, just run all the time. We're going back up. Got the old elevator dial. Yeah. But this has been here for as long as I can remember. Yeah. Classic wells. I wonder what the buttons up here look like. Oh, this one's got the arrow on it. I think that's your door interlock. Right, that's what uh, we, we, I guess we push that to make the door open. That makes sure the door's fully right. shut before it moves. Right. Up in Nashville, they still have some elevator operators up there. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Abrano for doing this. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. It's a very nice building, by the way. Thank you.